With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. In the year 247 in the Age of Judges, Vartan was summoned home after the death of his father. Upon his return, Vartan discovered something evil festering beneath the city of Eterno. With the help of some very unlikely allies, Vartan works to uncover the mysteries of his hometown and put an end to the nightmares that plague his people. Welcome to Ethereal Embrace. Have you ever felt like you're walking around in circles? Long travels are the worst, especially when you're hiking. Day 2. In the basement of the Briar Residence. Can we get out of this basement before I get sick? Uh, with that perception real quick uh, what's the point of entry and exit it looks like the stairwell it looks like they came in through the house like through the front door back door it looks like they used the stairwell down at the basement as far as whether the front door or back door you'd probably have to go back up and investigate to see if you can figure out which door yeah, I definitely want to look around upstairs. Do you want a perception check for upstairs? Yeah, go ahead. And, so you guys go head back upstairs. On your way, Brass Kane says, Do you think we should reinstate the curfew? The citizens are already afraid enough, and news of the Briars is sure to spread quickly throughout the town. Um, yeah, I think so. Uh... Damn. Yeah, uh, you're right. Damn. Um, I think that we should put the curfew in place because people's safety is more important than our mess with the Robin. We yeah. can We can figure out how to deal with explaining this to them ourselves rather than put the townspeople at risk. Brass Kane says, Consider it done. And he steps away to go talk to one of the guards that was outside and essentially tell him to go draft up the curfew rules for tomorrow morning. Mm. Yeah, the concerning thing is, though, the Briars were killed inside their house. Yeah, that's that's why I was like trying to think of what to say because that yeah. was popping in my head. Yeah. So. Unless the person or people who did this to the Briars are abiding by the curfew as well, we're not making people any safer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brass Kane, did you find a, a a point of entry or exit for? Uh, the possible culprits. Not yet. Um, my first task was to get you. All right, all right. I'm gonna have a look around upstairs. I wanna, I wanna look over this entire house inside and out. Okay, 
go ahead and make the roll. 13. Perception. 13, you do find that the uh, back door had been shimmied open. There was damage to the actual frame around the door. So that's the point of entrance was the backside there. Mm-hmm. And you do see that there are recent thick footprints that are on the ground outside the back. Are they larger, smaller than uh, the the briars? There are several larger booted feet than what the briars. All have. all human shaped feet. Any any other? Uh, humanoid. Humanoid. So there are a couple bigger footprints as well. All right. I'm going to stop Brass came before he goes anywhere and be like, oh, you think you could send a couple guards uh, to the neighbors and uh, ask them questions if they saw anybody around or behind the houses that they normally haven't seen before? Yeah, I'll do that. Or, or just a group of people that have been moving around together. Yeah. I'll, uh... Are you thinking like, uh, people from in the town, or just anyone in general? Uh, I mean, it's hard. It's very rare seeing anybody from outside of town, so my suspicions lie on it's somebody in the town already, but, uh, you can go check it out yourself. There's some footprints behind the back door where they shimmied the back door open. So, um, I don't know. Maybe you can recognize some of those footprints or boot boot prints. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Might be easier to track these footprints in the morning. By a cast light. Or that. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to follow the per- footprints. Do uh, you mind doing the investigation uh, like normal around with the neighbors real quick? Yeah, we'll begin questioning. All right, thank you. All right, roll survival checks to track the footprints. Okay. Ooh. Both of us? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use... Uh, uh, Grampy's old coin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say uh, dungeons. I got dungeons. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice. I, I got a thirteen. Okay, so that is a thirteen <laughs> and a nat twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with the nat twenty. Um, There are several tracks that lead away from the house back toward the woods on the eastern side of the city. You can follow these tracks not only to the wood line, but you believe through the wood line deeper into the woods. All right. Um... Our heroes will be right back after these messages. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void. we prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Hello, listeners. If you are enjoying the show and would like to take a look at a way to support the cast while getting yourself some nice perks, please consider our Patreon. We offer ad-free listening as well as this entire season if you select the binge tier or higher on our Patreon. Plus, you'll be directly supporting our cast for their work, as our team over at Creative Typo have begun to pay our voice actors for our performances. 
so check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash creative typo. I would also like to give a big shout out to our executive producer from Patreon, Nick Mead. Thank you, Mead. We truly appreciate your support. Now, back to the town of Eterno. The ground is wet, and it seems like this group of people were more concerned about making a speedy retreat than they were a concealed retreat. Hmm. And what time is it now? You said we it's, woke up around 3, so how long has yeah, it been? Probably about 45 minutes. Okay, so not quite 4. Hmm... Would, we would have grabbed all of our stuff, like our, like our pack and bags and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I assume you would have grabbed your. I mean, he told you someone got murdered. I'm sure you would have grabbed your <laughs> gear before yeah, you, yeah, left the house. Um, it's still really early in the morning. Um, I mean. <laughs> Looks like they were trying to get out of here. Or no, Baya, you saw all that shit. Yeah, Baya's <laughs> the one yeah. yeah, we can follow these footprints deeper into the woods. Um, I think we might want to maybe be a little bit more stealthy than they were because they were making quite a hasty retreat, I assume, to a base of some sort. Yeah, yeah. it's still pretty early in the morning, too. We shouldn't... I mean, hopefully we can go check it out and be back in time before the Robin gets in town. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want to... How far into the... Well, I mean, can we just stealth into this? Following the footprints? Yeah, I would say you can stealth through the woods and find it. Especially... Vartan is like nature born. He is uh, exceptionally well <laughs> uh, versed with walking through the woods. Okay. Okay, so I don't have my disadvantage on stealth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, dang. <laughs> I would say it offsets it. <laughs> you okay. being one with nature. But, All right. Yeah. Just roll once. Four. I'm not good at stealth. <laughs> and normally have disadvantage because of my armor. Mm-hmm. I am a big guy. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> okay. Not only are you not stealthy... Um, but you realize that you're not stealthy. Like well as, as well you're run. traipsing through the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as you're traipsing through the woods, it's like the first time you step and crunch on some acorns and <laughs> you're so big and heavy. It's just like, you know, in your armor, it's a like crunch. <laughs> and then, and you, a couple moments later, step on some sticks and they crunch under your, the, under your feet. And you step near a raccoon's little hovel area, and it starts hissing at you. So you're finally like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Just take off as fast as you can while following these tracks. And you follow them until they come out into a small clearing. The clearing's maybe 50 foot um, in diameter. So it's not a huge clearing by any means. Um, but it appears to have had the overgrowth cut down. And in the center, there is a campfire site that um, that you can see. Yeah. Are there people around it? There are no people around it. And the fire is not lit. Okay. You can just see that they had a spot designated for a, for a fire. And the, the footprints end here. And the prints end here. Yes. Hmm. Vartan, this is a little concerning. Yeah. Hmm. 
How can I tell how long the fire's been out? Uh, yeah. If you head over to it, it um, it doesn't appear like it has been been, been lit tonight. Like it looks more like it was lit the previous night because everything is cold around it. So yeah. the stones they put around it aren't warm. There's no smoke coming from it. There's no burning embers. Um, it looks like they had maybe been camping here for several nights, um, but they did not light a fire tonight. Can I do an arcana check? Okay, go for it. 19. Okay, an arcana check will tell you that the way the footprints come to an end shows that magic was used to cover them up. So they got back to the campsite, and then magic was used to get rid of the footprints. All right, I want to... I want to use my uh, speech of beast and leaf. Try to communicate with the with stuff. Okay, so with with speech of beast and leaf, uh, you have the ability to communicate in a limited manner with beasts and plants. They can understand the meaning of your words, though you have no special ability to understand them in return. Uh, you have advantage on all charisma checks you make to influence them. So what I want to do is try and um, ask the the animals and well, I'll, there's no animals directly around. I'm I'm guessing at, at this site, so I'm going to ask the trees to the plant life to to guide us in the direction that the people that were camping here went. Okay. Let's see how well that is. 10. Okay. So a 10, uh, (laughs) you look around you and all of the trees around you seem to come to life. They, lean in the direction of the north as if a wind is pushing through them. Their leaves flutter in and out all in the same direction. And although they don't have audible voices, you can hear them reaching out to you and connecting with you. And you understand that they're trying to tell you that the people you seek traveled north, but that's about all they can tell you from this. They cannot guide your path to lead you to where the people are directly. All right. Well, let's hurry up this way. We might be able to catch tracks that they didn't cover up and take off running. So you leave the campsite and head out farther into the woods. You first stop at random places that you think would be the most obvious trail for them to follow. Paths that have been worn down by forest animals that travel in and out of the area. There are also a couple paths where people specifically have traveled in and out of the area. But you don't see any fresh prints that lead you in one direction or another. After looking over the more common and easily to see trails, you check some of the other more difficult terrain that they might have chosen to travel through. But you have no success. With your arcana, you figure out this is probably a really powerful spell that was used to cover up their tracks. Hmm. All right, then I say we backtrack back to the camp and see if they left anything behind. Sounds like a plan. You make it back to the campground. It's pretty easy to find your way back, seeing that you've just been scouting the whole area north of the campground. And go ahead and give me an investigation check. It's a 13, because I have a negative 2 on intelligence. And I'm not proficient in investigation. (laughs) You're going to be the town investigator. (laughs) I mean, I'm really good at perception. I could roll a perception check if you want me to. No, uh, you're you're good. That's funny. 
as but, well. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 16. Okay. So, with a 16, Baya, you find under some of the wood that had been burned, um, some sheets of parchment and some books, some, like, journals the, that had been burned in the fire, too. So, um, they appear to be damaged, but some of it might be salvageable. Okay. I pick it up and say, let's see if we can't find anything out more about this when we get back home. All right, yeah. That's all you can find? Yeah, just some parchment underneath the fire, underneath the logs that they were using, I assume, as kindling. Yeah. All right. I guess that's all we can do here tonight. Thank you for listening to this episode of Ethereal Embrace, a creative typo production. Vartan the Furbog Fighter is voiced and played by Adam Culbertson. Baya Rustin, the half-elf sorcerer, is voiced and played by Tisha. Morrigan, the human monk, is voiced and played by Nari Kwok. And I am Nico, your GM. Please remember to drop us a five-star rating and review on your favorite podcatcher. Music provided in part by Midnight Syndicate, makers of the original Dungeons & Dragons soundtrack. If you would like to support our show or any of our other shows, you can join our family of patrons at patreon.com forward slash creative typo. Remember, be safe, we love you all, and stay foolish.